Uh, that was a good sleep. <laughs> I should go meet up with March and Danhong. Took you long enough, sleepyhead. We've been waiting all day. I've noticed that our sleep routines don't match up. You either keep getting up in the middle of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. Unacceptable. You gotta work on your teamwork. Hmm. Did you have a dream again last night? Huh. That's weird. I bet the conductor won, right? Well then. Let's go find Wildfire to discuss her next move, and see if they have any new discoveries. Let's go! I can't wait to finally get back above ground! <sighs> oh, look who's here. It's the Bane of Sfarag, the big hero of the Underworld. And the other big heroes, Dan Hung and March 7th. Were those lines rehearsed? Where's Natasha? Is she here? She has a bunch of other things to attend to. So I hope you don't mind talking to this <clears throat> old man instead. I speak on behalf of Natasha. By the way, sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire a secret. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> My apologies. Natasha is always cautious, but she has no ill intent, as you must have noticed. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safely. I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to ask this fella for help. I brought you down. I can take you back up. Free of charge. Satisfaction guaranteed. There's no need to knock us out this time, right? Of course not. This time, we'll go back through the furnace core. That would be problematic and dangerous. Trust me, we should go through the furnace core. Ugh, enough chatter. Just be a good guide. Hold on. What about Branya? Why isn't she here? She already went back. As you know, she has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. She just ditched us and went back? How could you let her? Exactly. She has a lot of responsibilities. I don't completely understand, but I trust that she's trying to solve the problem. Oh, right. Branya told me to give you this. She left us a letter. Hmm. Could this be one of those open in case of emergency letters? I've never gotten one of those before. Should we wait until we run into something dangerous? Stop overthinking and just open it. must refer to Jepard, but who could the sister be? Oh, Sir Vol! So she's Jepard's older sister. Blonde, tall, good looking. Ah, those Landau jeans sure are something else. 
Sampo, do you know the Landau siblings? Landau? Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I've mostly dealt with the younger brother in the past, but the sister? <laughs> She's much scarier. Uh, today's supposed to be a day of celebration, so let's not talk about it right now. We can set out at any time. Just come find me when you're ready. Ready yet? If you want to keep wasting time, I'll just go on ahead by myself. <laughs> what? Still something you want to talk about? All right, let's make it quick. Mm, not much. We just chatted a bit. And it really isn't worth going into. I promised her that I would help her rebuild the connection between the overworld and the underworld. That's all. I didn't really give it much thought, but traveling with you bunch does always lead to unexpected surprises. Hearty combat and exciting adventures. Not bad. I certainly don't hate it. Of course. <laughs> you didn't see the look on Joshua's face. He could barely hold back his tears. Chief Oleg. He didn't say much, but I know he's not the kind to wear his heart on his sleeve. It was my choice to go up, and Natasha supported my decision. Besides, you could use another person who can fight, right? <sighs> All right, then let's cut the chat and move out. Ah, young lad. I wanted to see you off, but you know how things are around here in the underground. Solve one problem, and three more take its place. <laughs> hmm. Something you wanted to ask? Natasha, trust me. In her eyes, the next military officer was more suited to be the leader of the organization than a doctor. But the most important thing a leader needs is a strong heart, an ability to unite everyone toward a common cause. In that respect, no one in the underground comes close to her. <laughs> I was actually once an officer of the Silver Main Guards. After being discharged due to an injury, I followed my old lady here to the Underworld, where I planned to retire. But as things would have it, I ended up busier than ever. There's nothing to regret. Life in the Underworld is hard, but people here are kind, and everyone is close, like one big family. Wildfire has already made it through its darkest days. With Natasha's leadership, we have the confidence to lead the Underworlders to a brighter future. And much of that is thanks to all of you. Fortunately, Svarog turned out to have some useful information for you. After all your hard work, I'd feel quite guilty if you left empty-handed. <laughs> Well, you still have a long journey ahead. I have no doubt our paths will cross again one day. Till we meet again, friends of Wildfire. Well, my friends, are you ready to head out? Ask away, my friend. I have all the answers you seek. What else is there to say? You know him as well as I do. He's an upstanding guy, as well as uh, young, handsome, and charming in his lack of charm. But to be honest, I'm not very close to him. After all, he's an officer, and I'm the opposite. Oh, she's quite extraordinary. The renowned, rebellious Landau girl. She once had a bright future, but after getting on her leader's bad side, she lost her job. She ended up opening a workshop and playing underground music. I heard that her old man was furious and that only a few younger siblings are still in contact with her. I used to go to her sometimes when I had any mechanical problems above ground, but for uh, various reasons, I don't visit her workshop much anymore. 
It's a passage connecting the underworld and the overworld, a big stone spiral stairway. You know, I don't understand the architect's obsession with making these steps when there is such advanced technology available. Wouldn't an elevator have been better? Uh, it's easier for you youngsters. For this old guy, the steps of the furnace core are a nightmare on the knees. You haven't heard enough about me, huh? All right. My name is Sampo Kaski. I'm a businessman who stands up for justice in his free time. And no, I don't have it in for you. Well, my friends, are you ready to head out? Wonderful. Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. Mother, I have returned. Rania, I thought... I thought I'd lost you. Where were you? Are, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, Mother. I I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. The Underworld? Oh, I see. In that case, report everything you saw. Commander Branya. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the Underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a... temporary alliance to help the residents of the Underworld resolve a few issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarok, and learned some truths about the Stellaron. I'm listening. Go on. Madam Kakolia. it is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. Mother? You've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Well, the responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Such is the burden of being Guardian, to carry these secrets for eternity. So. I believe that the order to dispatch the Outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellaron, the Architects waited hundreds of years. And those Outsiders may be the... the... Enough! What? Arrogant. Ignorant. You disappoint me, Branya. You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg, and now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum, and suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders? Guards! Take Branya. They are not scum. My entire life, everything you ever kept from me, I remember it clearly now. This time, this time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Why do you send the Silvermane Guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? <sighs> I see. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just didn't expect it would be so soon. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes. I am ready. Mother. Then come with me, Branya. 
It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. Reliable Sambo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. The bro or the sis? If you're talking about Chapard, we should be careful. He's a top silver main guard. He'd probably get a medal for every one of us he brought in. Don Hung, what do you think? I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. So, you think we should avoid Japard for the time being, right? He's an elite officer of the Silvermane Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter, we'd be walking right into the lion's den. Mm, makes sense. Guess we better head over to Sir Ball's workshop then? But we must keep a low profile. We're still wanted fugitives. What's wrong, Zila? Nothing. It's just a little new. The last time I was on the surface, I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. The Overworld, and the Underworld. We've... we've been cut off for so long. I'm okay. Let's go. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually like this? No. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. It might have something to do with us. The Supreme Guardian has probably learned of our arrival already. Branya. be safe here. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing and barely anyone comes in. Just what crime did you commit exactly? They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city and everyone's in a panic. Oh, we just... Not yet, March. 
Ranya said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? Good. That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Kokolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. It was her that ejected me from the Architects. I refuse to stand with her. I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the Architects are going to need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Besides, I know the Architects, and if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy first. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. <laughs> you could say that. We were like sisters once, inseparable. Of course, that was all before she became the Supreme Guardian. These days, I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. If I'm not careful, I'll start boring you all with sob stories from the past. Let's get back to you guys. If long lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> Let me! Let me! Uh, try not to embellish the facts. So that's what's been happening. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. After all these years in isolation and without a single word from below, this is what's become of the Underworld? I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. As for the Stellaron... I know why Branya got you to find me. When I was still one of the architects working in the Scientific Research Division, I was researching the Stellaron. I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the Architects. Come on, I'll tell you everything. Only a very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmentum or Eternal Freeze. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Sfarag, the Architects dug out the truth long ago. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. Maybe I should be thanking Kokolia. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. I figured out that the Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked, so I was already close to the truth. It's a shame that the Architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. It was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. Kokolia, it's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. She became a completely different person when she took on the Supreme Guardianship. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm... It was like they were drawn out of her by some 
mysterious force. She gave the order to expel me herself and refused to see me. I never understood that behavior and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Sometimes I even wonder whether she really did become a different person. Is that possible? Perhaps there's a single guardian consciousness that gets handed down from generation to generation. And the real Kokolia has already vanished. Is she being compelled by previous generations of guardians to make such baffling decisions? <sighs> Who knows? But this might make for a good songwriting material. <laughs> Japard? Not a chance. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. For my brother, orders are more important than anything. Even if you stuck Branya's letter to his forehead, he wouldn't be swayed. You need to choose your words carefully if you want to persuade him of something. It might be best if I talk to him. Though, I'd need a strategy first. Yes. I never observed it directly, but I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellabog, somewhere in the vast snow plains. We must locate it as soon as possible, ideally before Kokolia takes action. Can you tell us the way? Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing. But I'm afraid telling you might not be enough. The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. If you want to get to the northern snow plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. Even if you get past the restricted zone in one piece, you'll have a whole heap of Fragmentum to deal with. Yes, that's where the main force of the Silvermane Guards is stationed. They've consolidated their position there in order to resist the encroaching Fragmentum. It sounds like the three of us and Zila might not be enough. Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? I fear we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time in the North. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. This calls for brainwaves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Really? Great! Phew. It's less scary if someone you know is leading the way. <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. <laughs> That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. My brother said he'd be around today. Find somewhere to hide, quick! I'll handle him. J Japard! It's you! I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so tense on the front line. <laughs> things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks has slowed. I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Ah! Oh, yes! That's right. Sis, you look a bit pale. Did something happen? N no Why would anything have happened? You don't normally use my full name. Ah. Uh. You said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agree. It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Right, Brosif? 
You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble you. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? I... I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Lil Jeppy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. Don't say that. Ah, forget it. If I don't tell you, Pela will. Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back into the administrative district. She issued a curfew for the entire city and ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Bronya. Is she all right? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. The Supreme Guardian just said she'd returned. Nothing more. <laughs> well, I was sure worried about her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. She really does tell you everything. Oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time I was here. Let me have a look for it. I think I left it over... Wait! What is it? You seem pretty off today, Serval. It's, um... Right! You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning, and now they smell terrible! So, don't go over there! Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? You must be up to more forbidden research. I am not! How dare you! What do you take your sister for? Never mind. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. I've got business to take care of. Bye for now. Uh, hey, wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. I wanted to ask. What crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Kokolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian, but this isn't a joking matter. You're telling me off again? Fine. Whatever, bro. You better be going. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. I will, if I have the time. The coast is clear. You can come out now. What kind of plot device was that? I almost lost my cool when he went for his flask. This is bad. Branya's in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Klopoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zila. I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. I'm certain of that. You sound like Branya herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. I was gauging his reactions just now. Did you see? 
Unless we have irrefutable evidence, he won't question Kokolia's orders. If you go after him now, our plan's as good as over. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellaron, Kokolia will be out of options. Is Bronya really safe? You care about her, huh? You must have become close friends. Uh, close is a bit much, but I made her a promise. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> I can believe that. Come around and have a look! up security all right how the heck are we gonna sneak in serval we need one of those brain waves leave it to me stick close guys and don't get spotted this is a military base trespassers aren't allowed in wait isn't that <laughs> serval long time no see well if it isn't franz Long time no see. You still watching the entrance? Well, you see, I... You haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers. So, he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you gonna be responsible for all the frozen corpses? N no, that's uh, not something I could handle. <sighs> Seeing as you're Captain Japard's sister, it should be fine. Okay, here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. No, no, Captain Japard hates all that under the table stuff. I'd have a better chance if you don't mention me at all. I'm aware that there are those among you who see the reserve units as a vacation. But let me set one thing straight. You are gravely mistaken. This is the restricted zone. The fragmentum before you conceals monsters that watch your every move. Behind us, we have a band of conspirators that have infiltrated the city. The situation is critical. The lazy and undisciplined among you will lose your lives to the forces surrounding us. As such, starting from today, we will be adding 200 bench presses and 30 extra minutes of one-arm planks to our daily drill. Is that clear? Yes, sir. See, that was easy. You're Japard's sister, all right. I don't want people to see me that way. I'm doing this for you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using my brother's name. Hmm. All those temporary passes. I haven't seen one of those for a long time. Hmm. The restricted zone virtually never allows outsiders in. Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on Earth. An endless fragmentum, a few exhausted Silvermane guards, and the stench of death in the air. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. 
Are you ready? Right on! I'm stealing that! <laughs> Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. I help set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them. Is Japard on frontline duty a lot? Yes, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? It's so dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Landau. Mechanical Fever released a new song. Did you hear it? Oh, sure did. Palo was on lead vocals this time. Scared me half to death. It's a completely different style. Even Mechanical Fever is changing. <sighs> Rock and roll's dead. There's no audience anymore. Don't be so pessimistic. They're just keeping things fresh. I thought Palo was pretty good. Nope. This terminal's offline. We can't control it from here. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Japard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. There's not a lot of brother and sister time. Everyone just does their best to get on with their life. Activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. I... Huh. You know, the more I think about it, the more it seems deliberate. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or to prevent deserters from escaping. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the Fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. <sighs> Branya was right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabok. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the Fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. Aren't you the maintenance people? What are you doing over here? You can't just go wherever you please in the restricted zone. Get to work! Huh. 
Mm-hmm. Did you hear Malik is being reassigned? It seems like uh, both the front line and the city are short-handed right now. Seriously? No way. I thought Malik had only just been promoted. Mysterious. Feels like uh, something big's about to go down. As long as it's away from the front line, I'd happily be reassigned. It's only been a year since I enlisted. I'm not ready to lose my life. Eh, you make it sound terrible. Good luck preserving anything with those idlers in the reserve units. Our purpose as Silvermane Guards is to protect the citizens of Bellabog. You! Hold it right there. This is a military base. Temporary workers aren't allowed in. Sorry, I'm on duty. No time to chat. If there's an issue, report to the security captain. That's it! The thing's shaped like a giant iron ball. And it's behind a gate. What are the odds? Its formal name is the Mechanism Energy Hub. It's connected to all the energy lines. I would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone. Hmm. No wonder it's so heavily guarded. One unit for everything? That's a disaster waiting to happen. We learned the hard way. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Vol. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on, let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Yo! Evening, soldier. Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Ah, darn, this guy's not stupid. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother, then? Captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Dunn? Dunn? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? No problem, we'll be back in a bit. Done! It's been a while. I didn't know you made security, Captain. S Serval! It's been a long time. You're still so... <clears throat> you look good. Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool! 
Pleased to meet you. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Oh, what's that weird smell? <clears throat> uh, Zachary! How many days has it been since you showered? Uh, I showered right before my shift. Hmm? What did you say? I... I haven't showered in two days, sir. Unacceptable! Especially in front of visitors. Apologies for the embarrassment, all. <laughs> it's not a big deal, Dunn. Uh, you know, if you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? My keyboard guy is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Serval. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? Uh, could you be any less discreet? <sighs> Anything wrong done? Sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh... Let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. Something like that? And may I ask, when did he contact you? Uh... This morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped round and asked the favor. Uh huh. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could reconfirm with him. Huh? Uh, hold up, he's back? Uh, that can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. These people you've brought, they're... they're not workshop assistants, right? Uh... Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you. But you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. But the outsiders must remain. <sighs> there goes the negotiation. brought you guys here, and I'm standing with you till the end. Dunn, this concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Serval! We used to rehearse together every day, you must understand. My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. Try that again! Here to crash the party? Keep up! Uh. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Time for a shot. Nap time. You can't run! Stay close! Here stands the Silvermane Guard! <laughs> Let's make it quick. My turn. <laughs> Here. That's better. <sighs> Ready to jam. Try that again. Uh. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Gotta try. 
try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Naughty child. Hmm. <sighs> Thanks song's a lot. for you. <laughs> On my mark! Not a step back! Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. Time for a shot. That's better. Much pretty better. good crowd today. Let's rock. Serval? Why? I'm sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Got it! The encryption key! Quick, before we attract attention, let's... I think we attracted attention. That's the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two. If I'd known he had the encryption key from the start, I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. Activating the gear bridge alone would have been enough to expose us. This song's for you. Turn it up. This is our chance. Told you I could fight. Naughty child. <laughs> you can't run! I'm okay. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My turn! Time for nap time. You're annoying! Let's rock! Let's make it... Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Let's go. This song... <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. For the main event. Keep up! Tough luck running into this! Naughty child, nap time. Let's rock! the end of the story in your own way. Kugel 
Oh, someone there. I see. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Keep at it. Keep at it. We're in. It's open! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dunn! Give me some time. Uh, who designed this operating system? It's so unintuitive! Emergency fire evacuation system? Not that. Rock and roll dance floor atmosphere mode? Who the heck added that? And they used one of my songs! Your bridge control terminal. <laughs> Still found it. That's it. I've reset the energy system. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. Um, Sir Ball, won't more Silver Main guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Yep. Then what's our plan? Well, either we reason with them or charge straight through the blockade. Let's play it by ear. Uh... Careful. There's a big guy up ahead. There's no other way. We'll have to fight. If we can beat Svarog, we can beat this one. Let's go! You can't run! Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Here to crash the party? Turn it up! You can fight it, or rock with it! Let's go! My turn! Time for... <laughs> Let's rock! 
Let's make it quick. <laughs> Cute! Naughty child. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot! That's it. Try that again! <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. <sighs> Ready to jam. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Tough luck running into me! <laughs> time for a shot. Nap time. This song's for you. Let's rock. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Rules are made to be broken. My turn. Child. That's better. <sighs> Ready to jam. Let's rock. Try that again. <laughs> Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Let's make it quick. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> time for a shot. Nap time. <laughs> Energy restored. System online. Certification enabled. Come on, come on! 40%. 65%. 85%? <sighs> we did it. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Let's move. Perfect. Okay. We need to get to the front line. We could have a problem. Your brother may be there. He probably is. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Are you sure you can convince him? I've probably got a 30% chance. Or less. <sighs> Meaning it could end in a fight. Haven't you noticed yet? Most of our convincing ends in a fight. We need to be sure, Saval. If we can't reach a common understanding with your brother, will you stand with us? Of course. My word is my bond. I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Before our next expedition, I need Himeko to teach me some negotiation skills. Beating people up all the time is cramping my elegance. <laughs> I haven't fought with Jafard since he enlisted. He could never beat me when we were little, but now...
Serval. It really is you. Wait, Japard. Listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. And yet... Step away from the intruders, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. <sighs> Give me a few minutes, just a few. I'll explain every- Enough, Serval. <gasps> have you forgotten where we are? We Landau's ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellabog's most strategic protective fortress. Every Silver Main guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. Yet here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Attacking my Silver Main comrades in arms, hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? Why do you think I've come here? we found a way to dispel the Eternal Freeze, to seal the Fragmentum! It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Kokolia? Why would you sneak into the Restricted Zone and create chaos? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events? Listen to me, Chapard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's... I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. But the Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architects. The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy. That you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge. And that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. I believe you, Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. It's just... Guards, formation. Arrest these people. We could be inundated with Fragmentum monsters at any moment. We have no time to waste on them! The Forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Kokoli is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge. That the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end. Save your explanation for the judge. You are charged with sabotaging the Silver Main Guard restricted zone. In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. Resistance is futile. Uh, here to crash the party? Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it! Turn it up! My turn! That's better. 
ready to jam. <laughs> I'm okay. On my command. Take courage. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Much better. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! <laughs> Made to be broken. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Naughty child. Nap time. <gasps> this song's for you. Let's rock. Let's go. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Let's make it quick. Stay focused! For glory! Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! <laughs> this song's for you. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Let's go. Told you I could fight! You can't run! Our position is so Try that again! Let's make it quick. Rules are made to be broken. Never. <sighs> this guy knows how to put up a fight. I've never come up against anyone this relentless. He just won't go down. He's as stubborn as I am. It could be an argument or a fight. He'll do both to the death. That's why he bugs the heck out of me. That's enough, Japard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. <sighs> Even if I am. I won't yield. We don't want you to yield through force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours, Sir Falls and Branya's. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. Japard, brother. Surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Bronya. Lady Bronya. There's nothing more to say, Jepard. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Main Guards, I am duty-bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. But Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front lines. According to military protocol, if the frontline directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, a soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. Uh, <laughs>
For the Silvermane Guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Felibog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Our fight with the Fragmentum Monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Bellabog are indebted to you. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Branya for your own ends, I swear by Klepoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. They're not lying, I promise you. You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the guards. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the Underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Hmm. I'm sure. If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. It's the only way to get to the Snow Plains on the other side. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. I gotta admit, I had a lot of misunderstandings about the Silvermane guards. They're fighting for survival here every day, just like Wildfire. The difference is, we're making a stand for freedom, while well, they're just carrying out orders. Put ourselves in their shoes? <laughs> Easier said than done. Everyone has their struggles, but how can we understand them if we can't even see each other? Of course I do. I've understood them for a while now. But as far as I can tell, she doesn't need other people's understanding. She needs to understand her own heart. And it's the same with Jepard. I could tell it took a lot for him to lay down his arms. I think I can already hear the storm on the other side of the city walls. Not a reassuring sound. I hope Sir Val's right. That supreme lunatic better not have harmed Branya. You see? Brothers and sisters need to have a scrap once in a while to get back on good terms. Ugh, enough apologizing. My ears can't take any more. Honestly, this would have happened sooner or later. You just gave me an excuse to bring everything forward. What's wrong with a bit of violent coexistence between siblings? Seems pretty normal to me. <laughs> I'm pulling your leg. Since I left the military, my brother and I have always steered clear of certain sensitive topics. <sighs> Thinking about it, perhaps he's just been looking out for my feelings, shielding me all along. Knowing my temper, my brother almost certainly went to great lengths on many occasions for me. I should be thanking him. Let's do this. I may never have come face to face with it, but this Stellaron cost me a nice, stable job. It's time to get even. Actually, I have another selfish motive. I want to prove to Kokolia that I was right. Once we've taken care of the Stellaron, maybe she'll go back to how she was. Sorry, uh, hardly the time for me to be obsessing over all this. As I mentioned, if we want to progress further north, we're going to have to cross that hell. Still, look at it this way. Just another arena to showcase our skills, right? Now, if you're ready to get on stage, let's push for that standing ovation.
Looks good. Nice. Nice. <laughs> as soon as the restricted zone gate is open, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force the guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the Northern Fragmentum. So, have you made up your minds? <laughs> 